Oh, hi there. I didn't see you come in. <laughs> welcome to my office. And welcome also to my sense of humor. My name is Ben Sobiak. I'm the editor of a brand new book that's out right now. It is called The Writer's Guide to Wattpad. It's published by Writer's Digest Books and it features 24 contributors who are Wattpad stars, Wattpad ambassadors, uh, staff, and even an editor from a very large New York publishing house, which was really cool to be a part of. Uh, this, is, this is the official, 100% authorized, sanctioned guide to using this site. I didn't make this stuff up. This is written by the people who have built careers using this incredible website, or app, if you will, uh, called Wattpad. And uh, just to put that into context for you and why this book is so important, not only to me, but I think the larger world of writing uh, in general, is that 65 million, at least 65 million, people log on to read or write on Wattpad every single month. Now, if you took all those people together and you put them into a country, it would be like the entire population of the United Kingdom all logging in to read or write on the same platform. How incredible is that? So when I got involved with Wattpad and I started to find some success on there, uh, I went to Writer's Digest, who, whoa, another book time, uh, who had published this book called The Writer's Guide to Weapons. Now, oh, it's, it's a lot of W's, I know. <laughs> but they're better than L's, right? Hey, okay. Um, the Writer's Guide to Weapons, they published that, and when I had got going on Wattpad, uh, I, I wanted to do something like this, but just with Wattpad. And so Writer's Digest Books, or excuse me, Writer's Digest Books um, very generously took me up on the offer, and uh, from there it was working with Wattpad HQ directly to find these contributors and go through the content and decide how we we're going to do it. And on and on, and it's uh, it's it's a very interesting story. You can ask me more about it if you're at WatCon, which I hope you are. WatCon in October, this uh, the in late October uh, in New York. I yes, I got that right. I hope you can come and hear us talk more about this book because I'm going to be there. We're going to have a panel of contributors, and they're going to talk about some of the topics in this book. But if you can't make it, well, you're in luck because I have the book right here, and I'm happy to show you a bit around. So, like I said, we had uh, 24 contributors taken together. They have billions of reads, and, uh, and, and that's good and everything, but I, I think um, kind of thrown off the average, if you will, is, uh, is the person who wrote the foreword in her name. If you can read this right here. Let's see if I can get this. Uh, I'm a writer, not a, not a broadcaster, okay? Uh, well, there you go. If you could read that, good for you. Um, the person who wrote the foreword is Anna Todd. Now, Anna Todd, unless you don't pay attention to Wattpad, you don't uh, look on social media to see what the kids are reading, um, you don't... Uh, Pay attention to what movies are, are being made, or you don't read the New York Times or the, the major uh, uh, trade publications who are all very interested in her, for good reason. Uh, she is the author of the After series on Wattpad, which has billions of reads. And, uh, the other contributors in this book also have millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of reads taken together, but I just wanted to highlight that Anna Todd wrote the foreword, and that's really cool. So, but the rest of them are really cool, too. I mean, they're just such great people. I had to work with Wattpad stars, Wattpad staff, Wattpad ambassadors, and even somebody, uh, an editor at one of the big New York publishing houses, which was really cool. It's just such a great project to be a part of. Um, but if you don't have the book yet, and I know you're right now scrambling to go order it, right? Right? Yeah? Okay. Um, I can take you a bit through the book. There's, there's a couple cool things that I think you might be interested in. But before I do that, it's time for a coffee break.
Cheers. Yes, this is my favorite restaurant establishment. You can eat all day with a $10 bill. It's great. And for those of you outside of the Midwest, you probably don't know what that is. Well, you're missing out. But I'm not here to talk about White Castle. I'm here to talk about Wattpad. Now, the book is written in a certain way. This, this, was, a, this was a challenge for us. And that is, how do we make the book accessible for people who have never heard of Wattpad before, but also be useful to people who have been on the site for some time? And maybe they would want to hear it right from the horse's mouth, what it is that actually works, or what can work, or what are the possibilities, or what are the best practices, that kind of thing. Uh, so we, we took a, an approach that I think worked really well. Um, In the beginning of the book, we've got uh, a part, we've, we've divided everything up into parts. So there's part one is getting started, part two, crafting your platform, and then on to part three, building your writing career, and finally, inspiration in case you're feeling, uh, as writers often do, frustrated and down on yourself. But the important part here is that you could read it from start to finish. You could start at, say, part one, why Wattpad works, how Wattpad works, the writing process in Wattpad, uh, and then, you know, just get, get some of the general ideas down, and then jump over into some of the more advanced concepts, like, uh, well, using Wattpad as a tool for advocacy, in case you're not, you're interested in writing, but you're interested in writing uh, for a cause or a purpose or to build awareness about a certain issue or something like that. It's, a, it's very important. Uh, but then you can also get into, you know, contests. What are contests? How can you use them to build out your larger writing career by winning contests? What else? Um, yeah, and then it goes into a bit of, about what uh, Wattpad HQ does uh, with writers that it finds to be um, successful and, and marketable outside of Wattpad. This, this, is, this is, takes a, a bigger view. Yes, it's the writer's guide to Wattpad, but it's also more like the writer's guide to using Wattpad to build out a career. And that career might be on Wattpad. It might, it might never leave Wattpad. It might just be endemic. Uh, Wattpad could be a tool for building a readership that you port over elsewhere and get a publishing contract or an agent or some other partnership with somebody else. The, that's, that's what the power of Wattpad is. And I'll, I'll get into that in a minute when I, when I read a section out of here. You're going to have to bear with me. Um, the question that writers often get or ask themselves is how to build out a platform of readers. Because it's, it's something that you need, or not, not in all cases, but in a lot of cases. Life gets a lot easier for you when you've got a whole core of readers who care deeply about what it is that you do. Uh, well, if you're not really known, how are you going to build that out? Where, where are the readers? You know, that's another question. Where are the readers? Uh, where, <laughs> I, I, at least from my experience, before Wattpad, the life before Wattpad, which I barely remember, um, <laughs> I, I ended up networking and reaching Mostly writers on Twitter, on my email newsletter list when I still did that. Uh, there weren't there weren't readers. You know, it, it's it's one thing to build a base full of writers who care about you, and that's that's a very good thing to have. But it didn't seem like the entire piece of the pie. I needed to find readers who cared about my fiction, um, and. I, I, you, it's hard to scale up too because. It, in order to build thousands or hundreds of thousands of readers who care about your work, you have to reach them. And that might cost money, it might cost advertising, or it might just cost time that you don't have. Well, Wattpad is the on-ramp. And it took me a while to figure this out, because uh, I joined Wattpad in 2015, and uh, I was kind of at a dead end with my, with my, with my fiction writing, which, which happens. I mean, it, it, 
it, it just I, I had written some things I thought were really good, but they didn't they didn't explode. I, I knew where I wanted to get, but I wasn't quite getting there. So I uploaded to Wattpad, and uh, I I gained a readership that I ported over into all these other things, and now now it's it's getting pretty serious, uh, and it's getting serious in a good way. It's getting serious in the way that I wanted it to all along, but I don't think I could have done it without the readership that I built on Wattpad. And that's what Wattpad is. It is both a tool and a destination. And I, and I hope that's made clear in this book, because that's what we were going for, or, or I was as editor. Um, it is somewhere to go to write, somewhere to go to read. Uh, that's, that's the destination part, but it's also a tool. It gives you all of these these things that you need to actually build up a readership. And once you have a readership, what can't you do? And that, having an audience at all is so important because it's so hard to find people uh, who, to, to care about them. And in the case of that 65 million people that I, I referenced earlier, um, nine, more than 90%, and the exact figure escapes me, because I just have too many stats in my head. Um, more than 90% of them are readers, more than they are writers. You could just call them readers. And when they sit down to read, they're reading on an average of 30 minutes. These, this is where the readers are. You, know, you can go on to other places and try to find them, and that's fine. That's, there are other ways to do it. But in my mind, the easiest way to do it and the most effective that I found is Wattpad. And that's why this, this book, I think, is so important. So, what else can I tell you about this book? Um, the cover. Oh, look at these very nice cover images here. Now I'm going to tell you about them after another coffee break. Cheers. All right. <clears throat> so, we... Um, Put out a call for covers uh, to go on our cover, which is which is kind of meta. I'll, I'll give you that. Um, and uh, there was a contest; people could submit their cover art. Uh, it had to be original. It had to be you know the, the rights all had to be free and clear. Uh, and we ended up picking covers that go on to our cover. And what I like about this mix is that it shows off the variety of stories on here. And we've got a little bit of everything. Uh, we even have some uh, covers that aren't in English. You know, there, there are many languages in the world, and Wattpad gets all over the world. So, of course, it, it supports all of these different languages, which is, which is another way that this is such a cool place, because uh, you end up meeting readers from all over the world. I mean, I never thought that most of my readers would be in uh, South Asia and in the Philippines. Never would have thought that. But you uh, you come across these things and you realize how interconnected everything is and that you end up meeting or, or seeing the, the, the timelessness of storytelling and how it transcends uh, age and boundaries and, and everything. It, it puts it right into clear view because you get to look at stats on your stories. You can see exactly where people are writing from. Um, but to the point about uh, there being languages other than English, we have a chapter. Wait, that's not it. That's the wrong page. With uh, apologies. Here we are, writing outside of English. I hope that comes through in the video. If it doesn't, I'm going to feel really dumb. <laughs> So it, it gives some tips. If English is not your primary language, how would you use Wattpad? Well, we have a chapter about that too. And that's why I like the cover on this book. I think it does it. It, it represents uh, very well the kind of community that you can expect on Wattpad. So, what else can I tell you? Um, oh, I was going to do a reading. That's right. I should tell you also, before I do that, about the writer's glove. Huh? I've got lots of things that start with the writers. In fact, if you're at uh, Wattcon this year, you can ask me about uh, the time I was a Glamour magazine hand model, which is not, a, which I'm not making that up. These hands right here, 
These hands, hi. You wouldn't think model hands, but uh, that's an interesting story. Uh, but I will get to that later if you see me at WatCon this October in Manhattan. Times Square, actually. How cool is that? That's how big Wattpad is getting. You know, and in fact, speaking of that, I don't know if you saw this uh, or heard about it, but the kissing booth started out as a Wattpad story by Beth Rickles. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I don't get the name pronunciation right. Um, but Beth Rickles wrote a story uh, that turned into the Kissing Booth movie on Netflix. And actually, according to IMDb, I think it was IMDb, well, at some point, it was in, it was in one of the top most watched movies in the world. Uh, it's just incredible how much stuff is coming out of, uh, out of Wattpad. There's another one, uh, White as a Feather, I think it's called, that's going to be adapted for, for streaming, too. And I, I think it comes out in October. That one's horror. That's more what I do. I like horror. Um, yeah. So, let's do this reading. I'm going to read to you a bit from my chapter, or one of them, and uh, it might answer the question that a lot of people ask about Wattpad, but I'll get to it. Yeah. Drink a lot of coffee, all right? So, this is chapter one, Why Wattpad Works. <clears throat> Masterpiece Theater here. I should not be writing this. When I joined Wattpad in 2015, I was skeptical. Ah, uh, wait. That's not doing it justice. It was more than that. Try suspicious. Post my stories for free. Why? What kind of scam is this? And I'm just going to stop there. That is one of the most common questions about Wattpad. Why would you ever post a novel for free online. That makes no sense. Well, it can make sense, depending on where you are in your career. Is Stephen King going to release a new novel in its entirety on Wattpad? Probably not. But if you are a new up-and-coming up writer, or you're an established writer looking to, re or re looking to reach more writers, you, you go on Wattpad. You post it on Wattpad. There's, there's, uh, there's so much about this. I, I'm, I'm going to try to get through the reading without interrupting myself here. But, it's what you crave. Yes. Alright, let's go. I'd written what was some of my best work, or I assumed, and put it up for sale using the usual self-publishing methods. Few readers cared. Even fewer picked up copies. Self-publishing, this panacea, I never know how to pronounce that, so sorry, uh, for jaded writers turned off by the typical grind, didn't work. The small presses I signed with weren't much better. The big traditional publishers weren't answering the door. To be blunt, I was stuck, feeling hopeless and more than a little frustrated with myself, my writing, and the publishing game. So I had every right to be cynical back in 2015. Soon after my meltdown, it wasn't really a meltdown, I just was feeling frustrated. I read an article about a writing conference featuring a website out of Toronto called Wattpad. Ooh. The article detailed how writers post their works for free on Wattpad and then benefit from the readerships they build. Not free with an asterisk, not free, and not even free for a limited time. Just free. Free free. As in forever free, until the sun turns into a red giant and swallows the earth, or I delete the story from Wattpad, whichever comes first. Were I not so thoroughly finished with the normal rules of the writing game, I would have given in to my skepticism. But at that point in time, listening to the digital crickets, the digital crickets chirp, or maybe laugh, at the frozen response to my fiction, I had absolutely nothing to lose. I shelved my skepticism for the time being, posted a couple of works, and sat back to listen to the echo of my writer buds say, you're not, supposed to po you're not supposed to post your work for free. There were, of course, exceptions, but none reserved for this, what, pad. 
Like most rules about writing, this one was to be tossed into a meat grinder and scraped into a dog bowl. Posting those stories to Wattpad turned out to be the best decision I ever made. Yeah, 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 I would say so. The reason is the same one that explains why Wattpad works. It's a simple reason, really, and brilliant. But like so many brilliant things, the apparent simplicity disguises the genius beneath. Wattpad, okay, this is, this is, the, this is the key thing. Wattpad works because it makes it easy for readers to fall in love with your words. Now I'm going to stop it right there because there's a whole other chapter. But that is, um, that is the crux of it. It is a place where it's easy to find new writers to read and for writers to reach readers. It is simple. It is, uh, in my mind, more democratic even than the self-publishing Kindle uh, revolution that took place uh, a few years back. Uh, because it is, it removes the gatekeepers completely. I mean, and, I, and by gatekeepers, and people use that term. I think they think that's that means agents and publishers and in several vertical gatekeepers. Well, that that's true in a sense. I, I think it complements those models more than competes with them. But um, by gatekeepers, I mean. Look, I, I'm an established person, okay? I have a job, I, my, I have a family, um, I can afford to hire somebody to make my covers. I can afford for somebody to edit my material. I can afford for the time and technology that is required to self-publish. Those are gatekeepers. Time, technology, talent, money, all of those things are gatekeepers, and depending on your own background, that may be the thing that separates you from getting your work out there. And that might be at a young age, it, it, you could be in your teens, uh, you could be in your 20s, you could be in your 30s, who knows where you are, what station you are at in life. But those are obstacles, and keeping up with that stuff, that is a form of gatekeeping. It's several horizontal gatekeepers all preventing, or not preventing, but sitting between you and reaching a reader. And again, it falls into a chicken and egg situation where you have to have money to make money in that way, where you have to have talent in order to grow your talent, or you have to have time in order to, well, I, along those lines. Uh, but Wattpad makes it so much simpler. And that's what I, I hope is taken away in this book right here. Um, because you log on, it's free. Uh, you, you log on with an app or through a browser on your desktop, like I do. Um, and you write. You hit a button, and it's a blank screen, and you write. And that's it. And that is how everybody in this book actually got started. They all logged on to Wattpad one day, and they posted their works in the same way using the same tools, having the same platform as everybody else on the website, and they found a readership, and that readership grew, and it grew, and it grew, and it grew, and it grew until other uh, partners in the publishing and entertainment industries could not ignore it any longer. It did what they wanted it to do. So, in that way, it's much more democratic, and I think that's a good thing. I think that's good for the future of writing, and I think that's good for the future of reading, because... Uh, so much of the time we talk about in the publishing industry of, of uh, oh, sorry, this is my phone ringing. You would think I had that on silent. I'm apparently not. Um, but like I was saying, the we talk about lifting up uh, voices from backgrounds that didn't that didn't have that chance before. Well, that that's fine to say that stuff, but if you don't have the tools in the first place, what are you supposed to do? I mean, and, and, and we're coming at it sometimes from a perspective in, the, in traditional publishing where we're, we're waiting for manuscripts to hit the desk or hit the, the, the slush pile, and that assumes that all of these other things have taken place. You know, that the person actually had 
a word processing program. I mean, not everybody has that. You know, that costs money. That costs a license. Wattpad is a free app. You can write on the app. That's your word processing program. Your editing program uh, it is your readership. They can pick out typos for you. You can just ask them to look through it. You'll probably find somebody. Cover creation, it's all built into the app. In, in there, they are fine covers. You could use other cover services like Canva to do your, to do your work. So uh, that, that's why I think Wattpad is important. Uh, one of the reasons. And it's why I think this book is important too. And I encourage you to pick it up. And if, uh, if you can, uh, give it a spin. You know, if you're not already on Wattpad, Right up. That's what I have for you. Uh, like I said, I'll be in, at WatCon this October in New York. If you're there, I hope to talk with you. And if you're not, I think they're doing a live stream this year. I know they did one last year. Uh, if you can't attend in person, we can watch online. And if you can't watch online live, well, they have recordings. Like I said, it, it's all about accessibility here. So uh, my name again is Ben Sobek. Thank you for watching, sticking with me, and uh, cheers. <laughs>